What are the best practices for improving sexual communication in couples? What are the causes and treatments of male sexual dysfunction? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Improving sexual communication in a relationship is crucial. Best practices include honesty, respect, empathy, and a willingness to openly discuss desires, needs, and boundaries. Effective communication can strengthen intimacy and sexual satisfaction in a partnership. Male sexual dysfunction can have various causes, such as physical health problems, for example, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, psychological factors, stress, anxiety, depression, or side effects of medications. Treatment may include psychological therapy, lifestyle changes, prescribed medications, or hormone therapy, depending on the underlying cause. Self-exploration. Encouraging self-exploration and masturbation can be helpful for some individuals experiencing anorgasmia as it allows them to. Seminars and workshops. Events and workshops dedicated to the study and practice of the Kama Sutra are organized worldwide, providing opportunities to learn and experience its teachings interactively. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sensory experience. Some women prefer sexual positions that stimulate multiple senses, such as sight, smell, and touch, which can intensify their sexual experience. Sensual bath ritual. Many women enjoy a sensual bath ritual as part of foreplay, which may include bathing together with aromatic bath salts, candles, and relaxing music to create an intimate and soothing atmosphere. Sex and cardiovascular health. Sex is a physical exercise that can benefit cardiovascular health. Some studies suggest that sexually active people may have a lower risk of heart disease. Sex and heart health. Regular sex can be beneficial for heart health. It has been shown that regular sexual activity reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. Sex and longevity. Regular sexual activity has been associated with increased longevity in some studies. Intimacy and sex can have health benefits as people age. Sex and mental health. Mental health can affect sexual life. People experiencing depression, anxiety, or other disorders may undergo changes in sexual desire. Adequate therapy and support are essential. Sex education in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is known for its comprehensive sex education, starting at an early age and focusing on open communication and consent. This has led to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases compared to other countries. Sex and dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex in the elderly. Sexuality in old age is an important part of life for many older individuals. Older couples can continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sex in water, whether in a pool, jacuzzi, or the sea, can be exciting, but it's important to remember that the body's natural lubricants can disappear in water, making sex uncomfortable. Additionally, water is not a good substitute for lubricant. Sex toys. Foreplay can involve a variety of sex toys designed specifically to stimulate different areas of the female body, such as vibrators, dildos, Benoit balls, and clitoral stimulators. Sexual desire during pregnancy can vary from woman to woman. Some women experience an increase in desire due to hormonal changes, while others may feel less interested in sex. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality is diverse and fluid, going beyond the traditional male and female dichotomy. There is a variety of sexual orientations, gender identities, and sexual expressions that reflect the complexity of the human experience. Sexual dysfunction. 
Sexual dysfunction can affect both men and women and includes problems such as erectile dysfunction, lack of sexual desire, and anorgasmia. Treatments and therapies are available to address these issues. Sexual education. Sex toys can be a useful tool for sexual education. By teaching people about their own bodies and how to safely experience pleasure, sex toys can foster greater self-awareness and sexual confidence. Sexual education. Today, sexual education has evolved to address topics such as sexual diversity, STI prevention, and the importance of consent. However, the quality of sexual education varies widely worldwide. Sexual exploration. For many people, open relationships offer the opportunity to explore their sexuality more broadly and experiment with different partners and sexual practices consensually. Sexual fantasies and erotic literature. Erotic literature has been a source of inspiration for many people in their sexual fantasies. Erotic stories can allow people to explore scenarios and experiences that may not be possible in real life. Sexual health. Maintaining good sexual health involves not only disease prevention, but also emotional well-being and enjoying safe and consensual sexual relationships. Sexual pleasure at all stages of life. Sexual pleasure is not limited to youth. People of all ages can enjoy a satisfying and fulfilling sex life. Sexuality is an integral part of human well-being at all stages of life. Sexual pleasure. Pleasure is an important aspect of human sexuality. Learning to communicate about sexual preferences and needs can improve satisfaction in intimate relationships. Sexual records? Wondering about the female sexual record? American porn actress Lisa Sparks claims to have had sex with 919 men, according to the Guinness World Records. In a scientific study, 134 orgasms were recorded in an hour in a woman, while men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms in the same period. Sexual response cycle. The traditional model of the sexual response cycle includes the phases of excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, although sexual experience can vary widely among individuals. Sexual therapy is a branch of psychology that focuses on helping individuals overcome sexual problems and improve their sex lives. Sexual therapists can work with individuals or couples to address concerns such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and lack of desire. Sexuality and gender identity. Sexuality is inherently linked to gender identity, but it is important to remember that gender identity does not determine a person's sexual orientation. People of all gender identities can have a wide variety of sexual orientations. Sexuality and mental health. Sexuality is closely related to mental health and emotional well-being. Issues such as depression, anxiety, and stress can affect a person's sexual life. Sexuality as an integral part of well-being. Sexuality is an integral part of physical, emotional, and social well-being. A healthy and satisfying sexuality can contribute to better overall quality of life. Sexuality in advertising. Sexuality is often used in advertising to sell products, leveraging sexual attraction and gender stereotypes to capture public attention and drive sales. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.